Hello gems, Leah from Red Emerald Yoga. Today I'm here doing an unboxing of Denise Lynn's Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards. So let's get my trusty knife. Let's see if there's a spot that I can open it without damaging the box. Shrink wrap. It's very crinkly. Okay. Okay. So here's the box. This is a Hay House deck, so it's going to have a really nice box, and I'm sure. The card quality is going to be perfect. Okay, there are secret messages all around you. It's simply a matter of being able to hear them. In this graceful and elegant card deck, best-selling author Denise Lynn guides you in understanding the events, signs, and coincidences in your life, leading you toward a personal and spiritual transformation. Denise's sage guidance helps you transcend and activate your intuition. Realize your life's purpose and potential and achieve a genuine state of peace. These sacred traveler oracle cards assist you to step behind the mystic veil into hollow dimensions that will align your inner spiritual existence with your outer life. Each card interprets the signs that are around you and deciphers the secret messages of the universe from answering the call to discovering truth to infinite abundance and more. Use these cards every day and you'll discover what destiny has in store for you. Your journey starts now. Okay, let's see. So we have just a plain purple inside liner and Sometimes these lift up and these can scratch your cards, rough them up on the edges, but this one is nice and smooth on the inside. The same purple O. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. Sometimes the corners can kind of lift and I don't think this is roughing up the edges here. So I'm not no. Let me see how they fit in there. Yeah, they've got enough room in there. It's not, I don't think it's going to bother them. Okay. Actually, let's leave this open so we can throw the wrapper in there. I like to see, ooh, I don't know if this one's going to budge. I like to save the wrappers in case I ever sell the decks. I just keep them with them. Ah, okay. have all of the wrappers but I have most of them okay so these backs are gorgeous I love the mandala artwork on these beautiful okay let's check out the book not going to break the binding on camera this has other Hay House products by, De by Denise Lynn. I do have some of her books. She has some oracle cards, audio programs, and video. Okay. So we have the table of contents. The introduction, which I will go through on my own, talking about the sacred traveler, how to use, clearing the space, all of that good stuff, how to choose your cards, how to interpret the cards, how to store your cards. So this would be a good beginner deck, I'm assuming, because it, she's putting like all the steps of everything. 
methods of card reading, daily, monthly, one card reading, three card reading, a five card spread, the medicine wheel one year spread. Ooh, that looks fun. Discovering the hidden meaning of your dreams. Reading signs and coincidences in your life. Okay, I love dream interpretation. My friends and I will talk all the time on the phone about each other's dreams and we interpret them for each other and for our kids. So, okay, so I'm going to do the walkthrough. I'm going to go through showing all the cards and then we're going to be doing, we're going to do this five card spread. Okay. After, so stay tuned for that or just click on the timestamp. If at any point you want to jump ahead to the five card spread. I'm just going to put a little, um, a little notebook thing there. Bookmarker. I've got some selenite dust. Crystal glitter. Okay, let's see. I don't know if you can hear that noise. That's one of my candles burning. There's a little bit of dust from the cutting of the cards. Oops, I'm not even on camera. I'm trying to take these little, I guess that's, that might be an imperfection.
Okay, so this looks like a slight imperfection here on the side. It's a little rough and it catches. I think that was a, um, an error in, cut in the cutting process. I don't normally get that in the Hay House decks. It's very rare. Okay, now let's check out the cutting. You know, we did notice that one flaw in the cutting. The edges are smooth. Corners are a little sharp. That'll wear out in time. But in the meantime, um, that doesn't feel too good in your hands on the edge. A little sharp. But it is a beautiful deck. I'm definitely going to keep it. I do like the cards. I like the messages. I like the imagery. Just walking around on the other side of my tripod. Okay, so the card stock is um, pretty sturdy. These cards seem like they're going to last a long time without having to be overly careful with them. The only thing is like when you're dealing with the, the sturdier cardstock, sometimes they can be really difficult to shovel. Too flimsy, it's difficult to shovel. Shovel. We're not shoveling our cards. Shuffle with Fs. Not a V. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to be doing that five card spread. So I do want to mix these cards up a bit. This will not be a pick a card reading. This is just going to be a sample five card spread. I love all this corner filigree work right here. It's really pretty. And again, the mandala, totally in love with. Come on. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick five cards at random because 
These are pretty hard to shuffle. I'm just going to make a liar out of me. Let's see. Maybe it's starting to get broken in a little bit. This is not the most comfortable deck to shuffle, I will be honest. Um, it's really digging into my finger right here. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> it's turning red. <laughs> I think, I, yeah, I don't like this. This is actually quite uncomfortable. I'm just going to do overhand shuffling. I don't think I'll be shuffling um, the other way for a while. I'll have to break this deck in for sure. If I'm doing readings for other people, um, not on camera, I'll probably just do like either the overhand or a big messy pile where you throw all the cards down and just kind of like just pick them at random. I feel like that also helps to break in the cards that are really sticky. Again, you don't want to get too crazy with your messy pile because you can damage them, but but these are pretty sturdy cards. All right, let's get five cards. So we're just gonna break it apart. I'm gonna do. Let me see what the spread is. What shape it does. Oh, there is no shape. Okay, you get to make your own shape. Okay. So we'll do card one. Card two. Card three. Card four. I'll just make it fit so it fits on camera. Okay, we'll do card five here in the middle. Being sideways has no significance other than me just trying to get it on the on the screen so you can see it. So this is a message from the spirit guides, and this is not a spread for anybody in particular. This is just a sample reading, but if it resonates with you, well, there you go. Then that can be for you. Okay, card one. This is a message from your higher self and master guide. Answering the call. The time is now. I'm going to go to the book and see what the card says for, and I don't know how they separate them. I don't know if it's um, by the bottom or the top. Oh, it's okay. So the book separates in the index with answering the call, the words at the top. Okay, so that's page 25. Seems pretty self-explanatory, but I just want to see how they describe it in the book. You've been called. The sacred journey always starts with a call. You might feel ready, or you might be uncertain and not willing. But when you receive the call, you must respond. If you've been waiting for your life to turn out, the waiting is over. Your true and authentic life is happening. If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. Right now you've been called and a gateway is opening for communications from the spirit realms. The energy of courage surrounds you. You may not know what the future brings, but you do know that it is now time to act and go forward. So right now, it's the attention getting time right now. Your attention has been peaked and you have to listen with your heart. The time is now. Throw your shoulders back, take a deep breath, and plunge forward. No matter what concerns or hesitations you may have, in the deepest sense, you are ready. It's time to believe, to trust. Follow the signs, there will be many, and miracles will abound. Okay. Card two, this is a message from Heavenly Helpers. Impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. So that's page 65. So you have been called, it is time, and then we come, 
then we come to an impasse. So turning back isn't necessarily a failure. Sometimes it's the wisest thing you can do. If there's an area in your life where there's an impasse, the universe is telling you to use this time to reflect and redirect your energy in another way. So maybe you're answering the call, but there, there's like a stalemate. Um, and it seems like there's no way through. So this is when you may need to change direction. So you're going down this path, like you're coming out of this gate, right? And then you're lead, coming down the path, but the path is leading you to this wall. Okay, so it's like, okay, you have to stop and see, like, do I go through the wall? Probably not, but you may be able to go over the wall, or you might have to take a detour, go another way. This is a roadblock, okay? There's a barrier. So this can be, um, this can be anything. This can be a relationship barrier. This can be a business barrier, a finance barrier, a health barrier, maybe, um, but this call is leading you to this impasse and it's like, okay, now you need, you have a decision to make your outer crossroads. Where do you go? Where do you go from here? So instead of focusing on what's not working or, oh my gosh, I came this far and now this thing happened and now it's like, I have to start over. You're not starting over. You're just taking a new direction and that's okay. That happens. That's going to happen all through your life and um, it's not the end of the world. Okay, take a step back, assess the situation, and redirect your energy. This is a message from earthly helpers. So this contains a message from Mother Earth or from your animal, plant, and stone allies, like your crystals or stuff of earthly nature. Reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. Okay, hang on. Actually, both of these are a little bit squished. Let me just bring this one down so you can see it. Okay, we'll just stick these underneath this card. Okay, so reaching your destination, that is on page 91. Let's see. Your light is shining brightly. All of your hard work and effort is paying off glory, triumph, and success are yours. So here we have this path, you know, you made your detour and this is what lies ahead of you, but you're not there yet. And I feel like on this road, this destination, this is where your transformation is going to happen with the little butterfly. There's all of this light, this potential, this creative energy, like the future is being created, but you're not there yet. Okay. Um, this is a time to stand in your oh, so you're okay. So it's a time to stand in your own light. I still think that's like the creation energy. Your dreams are moving to fruition. Yeah. If you have incomplete projects or unresolved relationships, this is the time to complete them. This is an important part of reaching your destination. Take time to celebrate and acknowledge your successes in life. So this is saying like by the time you get to this point, you've already been on a long journey. You've had many obstacles. You've had many adventures. You've met a lot of amazing people. They've transformed your life in some way. You've helped them, they've helped you. You've made mistakes and that's okay. Um, forgive yourself, forgive those who Along your journey, um, along your voyage, they were less than honorable. This is a time to release any feelings of resentment, fear, and sadness that you may have gathered along this road. And I feel like these are what you're releasing, like a bubble. You know, you maybe even do that. Maybe get a little thing of bubbles from the market or whatever and, and blow the bubbles and imagine releasing that as the bubbles float away. I like that. That's not in the book. That's just something I'm coming up with. Okay, card four. This is a message from your ancestors. This card is a powerful missive from those who are connected to you through your heritage. Maybe you don't even know about your heritage. Um, maybe you're detached from that. Maybe you're very connected. I don't know, but this is a, a message from your relations. They wanna support you on your journey in life. So. Let's see what they have to say. 
faraway places, get ready for new horizons. And they would know, wouldn't they? How many journeys have your ancestors gone on? How many faraway places did they see? How many fears did they have to overcome? Let's see, faraway places, page 47. Stop playing it safe. Get ready for new horizons change in your life. A journey is coming. It might be to foreign lands or faraway places, or maybe an inner shift that changes your destiny. It's all beneficial. Sometimes we can feel wobbled when we're not in our normal surrounding. However, you are safe and protected. Good fortune ensues. Part of the glory of travel is stepping out of old habits, routines, and the repetitiveness of everyday life. Yet in no small way, your life is a spiritual voyage. Change is coming. Things are not as they seem. There are no wrong turns. Every adventure and misadventure is part of the course. You are on a pilgrimage of the soul. Keep your metaphorical bag packed. Some unexpected experiences are ahead. Be ready for anything. The joy of travel is that you can begin to experience the everyday as if you are seeing it for the first time. Take nothing for granted. Now, this can actually mean hopping on a, a train, a boat, a plane, getting in the car and, and going, right? But this can also be just experiencing new things, new adventures. Maybe, um, maybe you don't have the finances or the funds to go somewhere really far, but you can go to a new place. It could be far away enough from your normal everyday routine that it is a far away place. If it takes you out of your normal everyday routine, like, like stuck in a rut routine, then you know what? It's far away enough. Okay. So don't think, oh, I can never do that. I can't afford that. Or, oh, I don't travel, you know, because of whatever reason. Um, it doesn't have to be international travel. It doesn't have to be across the ocean. It doesn't have to be across to the other side of the continent. It could be you know, to another city. It could be just being in a place where it's unfamiliar to you. Card five, this is a message from your future self. Okay, so there's no reversal in this reading. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through, love flows through you and to you. So that's what I think this whole spread is about, the voyage of the heart. Okay, so this is, let's see, page 119. You are beloved. You are deeply loved and profoundly lovable. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you. God, the creator, is love, and in your essence, so are you. In matters of romantic love, all is healing or is already healed on the inner planes. Trust the messages from your heart and follow them, even if they are at odds with your mind. Angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their soft whispers. Joyous love flows through you and to you. You deserve love. There is nothing you need to do to receive this vibrant energy. Tenderness and devotion are finding their way to you. A traveler walks with a light heart on the path, knowing that she is surrounded with love. It's truly a day for rejoicing. Your capacity for receiving and giving love is expanding. Let your heart lead you forward. Your mission on earth is to deepen your ability to impart and accept love. And that is happening right now. So I feel like this person is embarking on these ships and it's leading her. So I like, here's the ship, right? With the ocean and the stars, but it's coming from her head. So I feel like it's happening up here in her crown chakra, in her third eye. This is like a metaphysical journey. And this, it's brought her to this place of love and now she's able to share it with the world. If you found that this reading resonated with you, then by all means, take this reading as it was for you, okay? If this reading did not resonate with you, please bear in mind that this is just a sample reading and it may resonate with some people and not with others.
You are always welcome to book a reading with me on my website, and you're more than welcome to request a deck of your choice. This was the Sacred Traveler Oracle Card Deck by Denise Lynn. If you'd like to pick up this deck, I will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.